So the city of Baltimore, uh, over the past year, a little more than that really, has effectively, not officially, but effectively decriminalized low-level offenses, like low-level traffic, like speeding tickets, prostitution, drug use, drug possession, drug selling. All these things, uh, since the pandemic began, have basically been put on the back burner. They have not been uh, addressed. And I honestly think that this is a good way to go. I really think that Baltimore could be following Oregon's example. And the state of Oregon, of course, just uh, recently decriminalized all drugs, which is, you know, totally awesome because I don't think these are crimes anyway. They're freedom issues. And if you legalize, tax, and regulate these things, who knows what the city of Baltimore could do with that money, you know? If, if they, like Las Vegas, you know, or the state of Nevada, I, I, to be fair, I don't know exactly which one it is, to legalize prostitution. Um, but if you did that, if you legalize, tax, and regulate all drugs as well, that money could then be used to fund a localized Green New Deal, sort of. I mean, in my last Street Talk video, there was um, the issue of Miami and what they could do with a dam project after I talked about the condo collapse. And I think something similar could be done around Baltimore. The Chesapeake Bay is known for being very dirty, and yet Baltimore is a city known for its crabs. You know, on top of the Orioles and now the, the Guinness Blonde Brewery, uh, you know, a decent nightlife. There. There's a lot of, like, strip clubs and there's science museums and the Hard Rock and the, the warehouse and Orioles Park. There's a great stuff uh, to the city of Baltimore that, that's to be enjoyed. I've been to the city of Baltimore before and I, I always had a good time. I always had a good time. But it could certainly use some sprucing up. And I think this is a great opportunity for them. What, where they decriminalize all this stuff, effect, like officially. I mean, the mayor of Baltimore basically basically just said, no, we're just not going to pursue these things. So it's effective decriminalization, not official decriminalization. So I think they should go to the next step and officially decriminalize these things. Because when you, when you legalize tax and regulate any industry, the revenue generated at the local level could be used to, like, well, let's use the example of, that I did in Miami. Baltimore could have like a, maybe a filtration project, an infrastructure project to help clean up the water supply. So you have the water coming in and it filters it and pumps it back out. So you're, it's a cycle process. You're really just trying to clean out the Chesapeake Bay and do all that kind of stuff, which I think would be a great start. Uh, you could also do the solar panels, um, even wind turbines anywhere you could. There are a lot of things that this kind of revenue could do. And I really think... Um, and to go back a little bit, the reason that they did this wasn't for altruistic reasons. It was because of COVID and because the prison outbreaks would it would have just made things that much worse. So the mayor of Baltimore said, "No, we're not going to do that." So I said, "Yeah, we agree. You know, we're kind of we're not going to allow prisoners to get this virus. We're going to do the best we can to minimize the prison population, minimize the outbreak." So they did the right thing there. But this step has much more far-reaching implications, and I think they're all positive. I really don't see any downside to this. Baltimore uh, could could be setting itself up to become a really great city to be in, you know, full of opportunity, um, kind of building itself up out of the rut, because, you know, like cities of Cleveland, Cincinnati, Detroit, Milwaukee, all, all those kinds of places that were hit the hardest because of NAFTA and all these horrendous trade agreements, you know, hopefully other cities around the country can start picking up on this if Baltimore takes this route. And I strongly recommend they do. Because you look at um, the areas of the country where you have the most personal freedom in regards like with these kinds of things, their economies are going to be that much better off. And, um, you know, Baltimore is a place where I really always enjoyed going. And I think it could really do itself a favor by fully decriminalizing, even legalizing all these things, and becoming a, 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 a kind of a renewed hotspot for tourism, for locals, for jobs, all that stuff. And uh, I just want to tip my hat and say, good job, Baltimore. I think you're doing the right thing. Keep it up.